Hey guys, this is uh, Vinod from MTAN, Montreal's Tamil Alumni Network. I'm here along with my friends from Mon Tamil, and uh, we're here talking about our event that's going to be held on Monday, March 9th at 6.30 in Lev Buckman. You're asking yourself, what kind of event can this be? Well, let me ask you a question. Have you, are you in this position? You're just done graduating, you're a Bachelor of Science, and you're asking yourself, what next? So today what we're going to do is we're going to walk around the halls of McGill and hopefully we'll find some people that can uh, maybe answer some of our questions. You want to try uh, taking a walk? Yeah? Let's go. Hello, unsuspecting ta Tamil interviewee. Hey. <laughs> do you think you can answer some questions for us? Yeah? Right yeah? All right. What's your name? Uh, Mithula. Mithula. Mithula or Midula? Midula. Okay, I'm sorry. It's don't don't apologize. That's fine. So we're we're just simply uh, walking around asking questions. So what are you studying right now? I'm in microbiology and biotechnology, finishing this semester. What's your name? Tevia. So what are you studying? Physiotherapy. And how did you get into physiotherapy? Um, to be honest, I think I just applied to a bunch of different programs, and. This one, my dad was kind of like, oh, you should go into it. It's a career program, too. What's your name? Hi, my name is Kavi. And uh, what are you studying? Um, right now, I'm studying, my, uh, I'm studying anatomy at uh, McGill right now, finishing up my final semester. Yeah. And uh, why, why did you choose to go into anatomy? It was, uh, it was pretty interesting, right? A lot of people went into it. It's, it's sciences, right? And, uh, you know, it's something that we don't learn on, like, a regular school thing, you know? Hey, what's your name? Abarna. <laughs> and what are you studying? I'm in neuroscience. Oh, that sounds really fancy. Your parents must be really proud. Yeah, because they don't know what it is. <laughs> oh, so why don't you tell us, what is it? Um, well, you learn about the nervous system, you get like a whole feel for the field because it's only really developed in the last 10 years. So it's the undergrad is very broad and you just learn like molecular stuff, uh, biological stuff, the whole wide range of stuff. It's a lot of sciencey stuff. Yeah. And, and what are you going to do after you're done? Mm, I don't know. I'm possibly thinking of maybe a second bachelor degree. Really? Why would you do that? Because I really don't like research. Is research your only alternative? That's what I think so. I mean, yeah, that's what I think it is. Really? Have you, have you spoken to anybody about it at all? Maybe you can not do research with that degree that you have. Um, I, to I spoke to an advisor and they were like, take a year off <laughs> and I really don't want to. <laughs> Did you tell your parents that the advisor said that? Yes. What did your parents say? My parents are like, they're crazy. <laughs> the Tamil problem. So then what is, the, what is the plan after you're done anatomy? Well, yeah. So like I said, um, I, did go, I went into the program. I don't really think about what I'm going to do later on. But yeah, now that you know, it's, it's approaching right the time, I was just uh, thinking, right, uh, okay, what can I do? Uh, you know, I was like, uh, a few of my friends are like uh, going on to masters. And like, it's not something that was actually interested, interesting for me. So... Uh, so yeah, I'm, I'm just thinking about like like the job the job market maybe maybe get into a job in my field, not really research, but like maybe like a pharmaceutical company or something because I've been going to some few uh, few events there you know asking about what what is out there you know, but yeah so I'm looking forward to like maybe work somewhere. Why did you go into that program? Uh, I was just looking at stuff and microbiology seemed to uh, really be like interesting but then it has a subsection of biotechnology and I really didn't know what it was when I started but as I was going through my years I found it really interesting like what biotechnology was and how much opportunities there's, there are in this field and yeah so. And, and who did you consult? I actually had no one to consult at the time. For you your biggest concern was being able to work right after you graduated? Kind of, and I really didn't know what, what I wanted to do. So it was just like, might as well. So what happens if you wake up one day, you're working, you go to your first day of work, like and that. you hate it? That would be really sad. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> I think everyone on, online just <laughs> gave you a collective tear. <laughs> and have you, would you say that you've consulted other people? Um, actually, I have. I've met a few people that are actually in the field, like physiotherapy, you know, et cetera. I've met school, a lot of them. Um, actually, a lot of them from MTAN, too. And, uh, yeah, so... Uh, and what, what do you feel like in your age group and in in talking about your peers, uh, being uh, someone that's graduating for the bachelors, um, what do you feel is the biggest concern? Or what do you think, is there, is there, do you think that they, is there a common question that everyone asks? Yeah, there is actually. Actually, because um, finishing with a bachelor, bachelor, just a bachelor is not enough, especially nowadays. It's, uh, you actually have to go further to do masters, et cetera. Even a few, a few positions that I've, been, I've, I've seen, uh, I've come across, actually require uh, an MSc and a masters, right? So uh, with the bachelor right now, 
you can't really do much, right? But you can apply further to go move up and stuff in your education, then do something with that, right? But so the common concern is there's a lot of things you can do with a bachelor, and you know people don't know. People are kind of scared to go to choose a path that you know might be wrong, you know. I applied to medicine, and I didn't get in, and I guess I didn't have the right, uh, yeah, the right fallback plan. Would you, looking back, right? Let's say you're still you're you're yourself. You still want to go into med. Would you have taken a different path that would have led in like and and why? Yes, I would have probably chosen a degree maybe that would have had better job opportunities once I was done in undergrad. Um, because right now I I'm lost and I feel like I'm exactly where I was three years ago, and that's not exactly where you want to be. Because right. I feel like I've evolved as a person, but situation-wise, I'm still at the same spot. Oh, <laughs> I feel bad for you. So what's the next step? The next step, I'm most likely going to do a master's um, in biotechnology and hopefully find a job after it. <laughs> yeah. So I think you're, you're like a lot of us who are unsure about the job opportunities available once you're done, right? Exactly. And would you say that you're confident that this is exactly what you want to do and you've had all your questions answered? I mean, I am confident in what I want to do, but there's always questions, burning questions that I want answered by like people who are already in the field and whatnot. See, and have you ever heard of MTHI or MTAM? Uh, I have now. <laughs> All right. Have you heard of Montamo? Uh, yes, I have. Awesome. So, yeah. Are there, if you were able to meet uh, someone in the field that's Tamil and you had an opportunity, what would you ask them? I would ask them about their experience, like how, what, what are the pros and cons? Because obviously when we read everything online, it's always pros. I feel like I don't see enough cons and I want to really know what I'm getting myself into. What if I told you you could come to an event, meet these people and ask them and maybe shadow them right away? That'd be awesome. Did you know that we actually have a physiotherapist? Her name is Gloria and she's going to be there and this is one of our title speakers. That's very interesting. Maybe I'll come now.